video, I'm going to show how to do progress or partial invoicing. This is particularly useful when you're charging your customers large amounts and wish for them to pay different amounts at different periods of time. So the first thing we want to do is go to the plus and create an estimate. This is always the way to start this, even if you aren't sending the estimate to your customer, it's just a reference point to go back to. So you go into here and you select your customer and you fill this estimate in top to bottom, left to right, as you would with an invoice. Select all the details that are relevant to this estimate. So we'll go into here and we'll put our product in. How many we're supplying. The rate of that product. And then the VAT rate. So once this is all ready, we can save this. The next stage is to go to the customer profile for the customer that we are supplying the invoice to. So that's Mr. Smith. Once we're in here, we'll be able to see this estimate. So if we click into this, and then up here, we'll be able to see create an invoice. So we'll press that, and this will give us an option if we want to do the total invoice, if we want to work in a percentage or customer amounts of it. So here I'm going to put 25%. That will automatically calculate 25% of the total invoice. So we'll create that. And here's the invoice that's created from that transaction. So this will be ready to save and send when you are ready to. So you see here in the customer profile, we've got the initial estimate and the invoice that has been created from that estimate. So when you want to create an, the rest of the invoice, you'll go back into the original estimate. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll be able to see what has already been invoiced and what the remaining subtotal is. So I now want to create an invoice for the remaining total. And that will create that for me. So there it is, and I will save that. And then these will work, these invoices were waiting. The